Mike Soria, the, the half of the domination of the Soria twins that is at Buffalo. Uh, Mike... Coach Sussman can't tell you guys apart. What, what's going on there? Have you, have you, are, is it disappointing? He's trying. No, I'm used to it. I I get called Max all the time. I answer to him. Um, you answer to When yeah. people call you Max, it's, it's like it's whatever. It's I'll just I'll just turn my head and be like, what's up? Because I know they're trying to talk to me. Um, he usually has an earring, but Stutz hates earrings on the team, so I'm here to get rid of that, and that was the only way to tell us apart. So, I don't know. People try to figure their own ways out. People say our jaws, or my nose is crooked, or if I have black eye or stitches, something. They want us to get tattoos. They want you to get tattoos? Yeah, to differentiate. How do you feel? Uh, I, I should get Max, and he should get Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Okay, when you look at you know the relationship with your brother, you guys came here together, you're from Long Island. Uh, you know, he was telling me about the state tournament, that yeah. this, the mm -hmm. tails never fails. Yeah. And he, and he lost, and you won the state title. Yeah. But when you look at it, you know, the one year he won, the, when, he, when he snuck into the NCAA tournament mm -hmm. with a, a, a true fourth place finish, he mm -hmm. stole the spot, as I said to him earlier, yeah. at the MAC tournament. It could have been you. Yeah. Is it disappointing, you know, a little bit knowing that, or do you like, do you embrace it? Your brother's had that excess, success. You had the success in high school. You were the state champ, and now... He's having the success in college. Do you embrace that, or is it something that, that drives you? I like to see him doing well. He's my twin brother. We've always been together for all, forever. But it definitely hurts me every day knowing that I could have been there and all the work I'm putting in. Um, we're thinking about splitting up, doing something, trying to figure out a plan. But neither of us really want to go up to 33 because we just started getting big for 25. And either of us could be in a lineup right now. It's just, it's just a struggle to make that decision. Knowing that uh, you know he he has been a starter, but he says it goes back and forth. Yeah. He said you take him down, he takes you down. You take him down, yeah. you take him down. Then sometimes it ends in a fight. Yeah, that's definitely what happens. It's so we're so competitive. Even though we were best friends, we're always together outside of the room. But when it gets inside the room, we're we're fist fighting every day, and it gets heated, fist flying, everything. So we we just we just get competitive a little. We want to win. That's what happens. If I take him down, he's gonna want to take me down. If, it's it just gets heated. You guys shared the same space for eight to nine months. I, I, I pointed this out to him. He kind of chuckled. But eventually in life, you guys are probably going to have to go your separate way. You're, yeah. you're going to have a family or a wife or whatever you're going to do. Are you? Do you think about that at all? You know, I'm, I mean, I might be without my brother eventually. Yeah. I mean, I've actually definitely thought about transferring in the past so we could both be in lineup at 25 where both have the ability to and neither of us want to go up to 33, but... I'm comfortable here. I like the team. I definitely like the coaches. They're doing a great job. Um, I'm looking forward to what UB's going to do. Tell me about the culture shift. Uh, Max talked about it. Uh, Wally talked about it. Everyone I've talked to has talked about the culture change. Tell me about, you know, from old UB, your first, uh, you know, three years to now. Tell me about the culture change. We've definitely had a lot of changes. We've had um, three different sets of coaches come in because our freshman year we had Frank Beasley. He did a great job, um, and then he ended up leaving, going to Binghamton. We had uh, Lackey come in, and no matter w what team you're on or what coaches you have, I think the workouts are going to be hard because it's ultimately up to you to push yourself, and it's not really the workout. It's how hard you're going to work, and well, they've all been equally as hard. I think it's just Stutz has a good system going, and he knows when to do the right things, when to rest us up, when to push us hard, when to motivate us, when to be positive, when to yell at us. He, he knows what he's doing, and I think everyone's buying in. We're all doing better than we've done in the past with um, socially or grades, just staying on top of our stuff. And I think Stutz is the reason behind that. What does Mike Soria have to do to get in the lineup and qualify for the NCAA tournament? Um, either fist fight my brother and... <laughs> For the win, um, bump up and go 33, which I am a few pounds heavier than I'm naturally a little bit bigger, but I'm still just starting to be an average size 25 pounder. Um, and for me to go up, I've been small my entire career. Like I was 80 pounds my freshman year in high school, so I've always been trying to bulk up and get bigger. And now for me to have to do it again, possibly, it's just so uh, it's mentally breaking. You just want to be big and strong and, and do good in the lineup, but you're always giving up weight and size. 
So could you guys qualify at 25 and 33, or is that something you haven't made that decision yet? Um, I haven't even made a decision what way I'm going. I've talked to Stutz about that, but um, he's going to want me to go 33 because he's going to want both of us to try and make it in the lineup. And he wants to see us do well. Um, I don't know. I've never really wrestled 33, and I, I feel like I would just get pushed around a little bit. I mean, of course I'm going to give it my all, but I feel like my career weight class, my um, successful weight class is at 25 where I'm going to do my best. 